Hello everyone and welcome back to Chained Echoes. In the last session we switched perspectives multiple times. We started playing as a princess, then we moved to some kind of uh, rich dude, not a nobleman, but a dude who'd made a bunch of money and seemed like a pretty good guy and then he got robbed by this girl here and uh, we are now playing as her. We've robbed a few other people and uh, we are now going through the sewers. Oh, hello, I didn't even see him there. <laughs> We're now going through the sewers to try and steal from the palace to pay back uh, some people who we are indebted to. What's her ultra move? Heavenly Twin Tail Swallow deals high physical damage to one enemy and raises her agility and crit chance. Okay. Her, the bat's strength is water and the weakness is... something. <laughs> what the fuck is... What the fuck is that? Um... Right, so what have we got? What have we got? We have Yoko Giri. 1.1 damage to all and can trigger Petal Storm, so I can't just choose this. Yeah. Uh, Pilfer steals an item from a target with 80% chance. Do you have anything to steal? No, okay. And X Slash, bleeding for five turns. I don't know how much health this bat's going to have, but let's do the... Oh, I love the animation on that. Ah, it life steals from me. Interesting. Okay. Man, I really like her animations. That is really sick. Wait. Oh, uh, gotta go around for that, I guess. Uh, what is that little dude? <laughs> Can I just wait on this and go all the way around? Yes. There's also a thing there. Hmm. Well, let's get this first. Tin ore. Okay, so this is just... I don't think this is... I don't think little dude is anything we can actually interact with. Uh, it's just a bunch of stuff that's down here, being thrown down here into the sewers. Cool, okay. Hello, another bat, another bat. Uh, do no bats have anything to steal? It seems like no. I guess it makes sense to X slash first. God, um, fuck it. I, she, is, she is definitely my favorite so far. Like, she already was just from the fucking how cool she is and everything. And like, now I'm seeing the animations in combat as well. I'm like, yeah, this is... Great. <laughs> Bye. Uh oh. What is this? Something's coming. Oh my god. <laughs> uh hello. <laughs> A kraken? In the sewers? You must be hungry for something big. I hope you don't choke. Oh. What the? Oh! It's our boy! How are you alive? <laughs> How are you alive, Glenn? Fresh air at last. You say that in a sewer. Anything's better than octopus in it. I don't want to interrupt you, but you are not off the menu yet. Ready the toothpick, Glenn. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so it's been a year. How are these guys alive? <laughs> it... it escaped. I hope it won't return. Born in the walled city of Golgotha. When he was 12, he was freed by the band of the Iron Bull, a group of mercenaries. Having nowhere to go, he joined the group and discovered his love for everything technical. With his talent, he became the mercenaries' top sky armor pilot in no time. Since the incident a year ago, he's been trying to find clues about the mysterious stone that caused it. Interesting. The walled city of Golgotha. I wonder if we'll be going back there at some point. Or whether that's just going to be, like, background info that we never, like, expand on. What the heck were you two do- what, uh, what the heck were you two doing inside this monster? Well, we were having a casual walk through the sewers when suddenly this kraken appeared and swallowed us. 
second hand to the commander of the Band of the Iron Bull, he joined the mercenaries not because of necessity, but more so with ambitious goals in mind. He wants the group to grow in fame and power so that one day it could stand next to the strongest armies of Aldrea. With it, he wishes to make the world a better place. A casual walk? What are you two up to in this place? Probably the same as you, I guess. Me? Oh, so you are inspecting the load-bearing of these walls. Ha <laughs> ha You're going to sneak into the palace, aren't you? The banquet is a good opportunity. Are you after the treasury? Who knows? These old walls certainly need to be inspected. We also want something from the palace, but nothing from the treasury. How about an alliance, until we get through the sewers? What? You think that's wise? We don't know her. Exactly. Why should I trust you? Trust in the fact that we have kept you alive so far. There are two of us, remember that. And you trust me? I trust you're smart enough not to mess with two mercenaries. I, she could maybe take you, I don't know. Hmm. If a giant octopus greets us at the entrance, I do not want to know what's lurking deeper in the sewers. I agree to your suggestion. Excellent. My name is Killian, and this... Now, now, I need your swords, not your names. Let's go, my dears. I'm keeping an eye on you. You are not the first man to say that. This will be fun. <laughs> Alright, cool. Sweet. Ah, uh, Can I get down there easily? No. <laughs> I think I needed to go down this side. Oh, I can't walk across this. Oh. Oh, that's a... I thought it was on the floor, but I guess it's supposed to be, like, vertical... Okay, so how do I get to that then? Hmm, 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 Well, I can't do anything that way, so I guess we'll just have to get a ride later? Oh, wait, unless. <laughs> unless. Hmm. So I need to get on to that and go around. Oh! Hello, okay. Uh, can we steal from you? Yes. Tin ore. Is that even worth? Like, do I care about getting that? What's yours? Power armor salvo. Deals physical damage to all enemies and reduces attack, magic, defense, and mind. Okay. Uh. Do, 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 do. Lovely, into overdrive, love to see it. Right, Killian, what's yours? Deals high physical damage to all enemies. Okay, well that's pretty straightforward then. <laughs> what's the other one? Steel, yes, canned. What does canned mean? Strength, weakness, steel, and can. Not sure. Uh, physical attack to everyone. I mean, is it worth saving the ultra move? You know, I don't actually know how quickly the ultra move charges. Let's just use it and then see how quickly it charges. <laughs> Whoa! That didn't even deal... His ultra move didn't even deal that high physical, I feel. Huh. They healed up. How fucking dare they. I wonder what, uh... I wonder, like, how often Petal Storm gets... Uh... Gets triggered. Bye! Lovely jubbly. Don't mind if I do. Yeah. So I need to get onto there. Magic overdrive times two. Okay. Any oh, right. We've got skills. Right, of course. Um, she doesn't have anything, but these guys will. Yeah. Okay. So... Leg aim lowers their agility by 20% and 
buff that generates TP with every hit for five turns. That's pretty impressive. Definitely are going to want that. Uh, lowering their agility, that means they take their turn more slowly, right? Uh, 5% chance to execute a skill without paying TP costs. I mean, 5%, you can't rely on that at all, but... Uh, attack up by 10% could be good. I'm, I'm debating whether I get this now so that it can be earning the SP stuff. Because you get SP for everything after every battle, right? But then the passive ones level up. Do the passive ones level up too? I think they do, right? So actually, let's get that. Um, and then you also have to. Uh, oil slash inflicts oil. Does that make fire better, I would guess? Light up the oil. Uh, lend energy. Restores 50 TP. Oh my god, it costs it costs 50 though. Interesting. Hmm. Hmm, I say. costs him 50 TP to do it. Although in Overdrive it would be 25, but still. It would be like, donating 25 TP to give someone else 50. I'm trying to think how often that would be useful. I'll get the Oil Slash. I wonder if the upgrade to this makes it cost less. Buffs this, I know we can't get this yet, but SOS Defense buffs this stat by 30% when HP is under 25% for three turns. Huh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, let's, let's get this. And then I just want to see what its upgrades will be. Uh... Inflicts oil for three turns, and then it's cheaper. This one, oh no, it never gets cheaper. It just goes to 60 and then 70. Interesting. Interesting. And then SP, I have 17. Is that saying I need 295 to level it up? So I think I can't level it up because I only have 17 SP. And I need 278, I think. <laughs> I think that's what that's saying. Uh, and then passives, fire resistance, yep. Uh, his attack up, yeah, goes up to 20 and then 30. That's going to be good. And you have 5. 20% chance to counter a single target's physical attack by buffing agility up. Right, right, right. Yeah, okay, cool. Um... Eventually that becomes a 100% chance. Alright. Wait, I wanted... I, the reason I went in in the first place was because I got an item. I didn't know what it was, right? Uh, if a magic type is... If a magic skill type is required by the overdrive, this will trigger it. So it will just move... If you don't... If you need to move the overdrive bar left and you don't have a magic skill... Then you can use this in item instead, and it will do it, I guess, is what that's saying. Alright, cool, cool. Ooh, red chest down there. Definitely want to get that. Definitely want to get that. I think the only way left to go is down here, right? Hello. <laughs> the other people disappear when you get on. <laughs> okay, so that's how we get that. Wait, what the fuck? What? What just happened? Uh... What is happening here? The game's bugging out. The game is really bugging out. Uh... <laughs> it threw me off. Okay, that's really bad. I'm worried that I'm fucked now. It threw me off the thing and like, 
I was under the bridge and then it threw me onto the bridge. I'm, I'm, I'm fighting against the controls here. It's wanting to take me in the direction that the thing is going. If I get back on here, will that fix it? I hope that fixes it. I really hope that fixes it. <laughs> that was a curious bug. That was a very curious bug. Hello. Uh, people, here. I think it has fixed it. What am I doing here? Well, how about I just don't ask any questions and you don't either? Instead, take a look at my wares. Alrighty. Uh, usables. You don't have anything that's not usables. I don't think I need any of this stuff. I don't, like, I don't have a cure in act, but, like, when am I gonna... I don't have a cure sleep, but... I don't know how soon they're going to start throwing that kind of stuff at me, so... Uh... Okay, so loot has no uses, right? So loot, I can sell all of that. Uh, so fluffy it can be used as a pillow for your adventures, but since you know where it's from, you'd rather sell it. <laughs> no one really believes- oh, we did read that. It's actually a mushroom with a cap, but it must have fallen off somewhere. <laughs> Boxing glove. It looks like a glove, but it's actually the testicle of the enemy. What? <laughs> Pardon? <laughs> a golden thread would net you a fortune. Unfortunately, this one is simply yellow. Looks like a plain stone, but maybe its appearance is deceptive. Goblins seem to have a good eye for fine buckets. Sell all of that. Gives me 225. Sure. Uh, and then over here was a lovely chest. Sturdy Akiton. Was that an armor? No. What was that? <laughs> Shit. Was it an accessory? No. Class emblem? No. Unless only certain people can... Ah, only certain people can wear st certain things. So I couldn't actually see that it was available there. But for you, I can put a sturdy Akaton on. So what's the difference? You get... With the iron cu cuirass, uh, it's just everything is worse. Right, so this is just plain better. Okay, cool. Uh, and I guess I give the accessory magic. Who has magic? Does anyone actually have magic here? I don't think any of these guys use magic, do they? Oh my god! Okay, that made me jump. <laughs> uh, okay, it looks like the ultra move does take a while to charge. I guess it only charges from moves in battle. It doesn't, like, charge over time. Uh, right. Do, 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 do. Is it worth armor breaking? Yeah, probably. Oh, she's going again. Huh. Get the bleed on you as well, then. I could cross slash, but then I'd actually go out of overdrive. But then I guess we could use him to get back in it, so that's fine. Uh, wide swing for all. Nice. He's gone. Lovely. Easy. 
I'm so glad you get full you get a full restore at the Oh. There's no turning back for a while if you continue. Okay, well what's over here first then? Uh oh. Yeah, I really like how you get full restore after each battle. It's so nice. I don't think we've ever triggered Petal Storm, have we? It would be really nice if that happened. Petal Storm active! Woohoo! We got it. We fucking got it. Uh, I think they're all low enough health that it actually isn't worth doing that. So let's just cross slash. You. Oh, we got the petal slash, but I didn't even get to see what it's what it looks like. Sweet buff overdrive, nice. Okay, well we can't turn back for a while. It said so. Let's see why. A dead end. According to my map, the exit should be at the end of this waterway. But how do we get there? The current is going in that direction. We could use the wooden plank down there. Oh dear, this is going to be fun. <laughs> Seems like it's working. Now, isn't this romantic? Oh, please stop. It's already hard enough not to vomit from all the smell. What is this? Uh-oh, is the fucking Kraken thing back? Looks like we have company. It is. Oh, fuck's sake. I was like, that model looks too detailed to not actually be used for a boss fight. The Kraken again? What's wrong with this thing? Did it wait for us to get into the water? Whatever it is, it's not going to leave us alone this time. Engage! Well, oh, we got our ultra move refilled. Right, that happens at the start of bosses. Nice. Uh, well, high physical damage to one enemy and raise her agility and crit chance. I mean, that's pretty good, right? Oh, wait, he's got tentacles. We have to... Magic healing tentacle. Magical physical. Okay, we should probably take out the healing tentacle first, right? Cheeky agility buff and crit buff. Okay, uh... Oh my god! <laughs> it didn't even... An ultra move? It didn't even do that much fucking damage. Jesus Christ. Well, let's defense break that. I mean, we just have to fucking go full in on the healing tentacle, right? That's the only way to... Like, that has to be gone. Okay, can we pilfer? No. Oh, we can pilfer from the physical. Hmm, is it worth spending a turn to do that? <laughs> what do we think? Sure, I guess let's find out what it does. I'm curious. A copper nugget. I wonder what that actually does for us. Right, anyway, is that... So that's defense broken already, yeah. Okay, so cross slash it. Okay, good. We're in overdrive, so we're taking a bit less damage. Uh, then let's make it bleed. Uh, I guess we keep wide swinging. Hmm. Maybe it's not worth the wide swing. Maybe it's just. Maybe we just attack. Uh, 
Okay, is the armor break still up? It is. Uh... Right. Petal Storm active. Nice. Okay. Right. We'll definitely do this. Uh. Oh, he can only use it on himself. Oh, uh, okay. Let's see. I thought he could... Well, it's worth it, I think. But yeah, I did for some reason. I guess I didn't realize. Uh, okay. Then let's, for the first time, use this. Oh, yes, we got it. Okay, it's gone. It's gone. So no more heals for you. But then it attack buffed. Oh, Christ. That tentacle now hits everyone. Okay, that's awful. Uh, that one's got an attack buff, but that hits everyone. That's got to be the priority, right? That is really bad. <laughs> Okay, uh... Glenn is running low on the old, uh, TP. So I think we should save it for armor breaking. She's got two more of these. It's probably worth her doing that. Although the bleeding is real good. If it triggers Petal Storm, that's amazing, but like, what are the odds? Oh, we crit it! Amazing. Fantastic. Okay, perfect. Okay. Uh, now we armor break you. Uh, now we X slash you. Oh my god, she just got killed? Oh no. <laughs> what are the odds that he fucking went for her instead of... God damn it. Can't believe he went for her instead of, like, it was a one in three. <laughs> oh god, she doesn't even come back with uh, much health, huh? Or much TP. Oh, no. He's already bleeding. Yep. I could item her. I guess I'll do that. Just in case. Because I don't want her to get one shot again. Uh-oh. Well, we could... Eh. We got three turns to hit it. Restores TP. Is that the only one that restores TP? Yeah. How much, how much health does it have again? It's probably worth just killing it. Uh, Sienna. I hope we can just kill it. <laughs> and Glenn. Hopefully the bleed will finish it off. Yeah, okay, good, good. Oh, 
I thought, oh, well, that's fine then. Not gonna lie, I was really expecting that there would be, like, killing the tentacles would be phase one, and then we'd have to actually fight the head. <laughs> but I guess not. <laughs> so, that's fine then. That was intense. Now, let's get out of here. Cool. Okay, that was fun. That was a fun fight. But yeah, I thought I was expecting that I was going to have to fight the head as well, but, uh... And, like, the tentacles were, pr were protecting the head, but no. <laughs> Finally, the open sky. Where are we? According to the map, this is the southeastern courtyard. The treasure chamber is in the south. I guess this is where we part ways. I'm sorry I was so suspicious earlier. Well, it's a wise attitude to have. You shouldn't drop it. More earthquakes. Oh! I don't like a red screen. What the fuck is that? A fire? Oh, great. The rumours have come true. The townsfolk have actually started a riot. A riot? Against what? They don't want Iskania's Chancellor to trust Tarin. Rumour has it that Prince Frederick of Tarin only instigated the pre peace treaty in order to recover from the damage caused by the Grimoire. Once Tarin has regained its strength, the war will continue. Grimoire? We should hurry. May the light of fate guide your path. I wish you the same. Ah, right, Victor. My hands won't stop shaking. Both amulets are glowing. Has the time finally come, Master? Sir Victor. What a true joy to see you here. Everyone, please come and welcome our guest of honour, Sir Victor of Arcadia, the creative mind behind all of our favourite theatre plays. Uh, Rosamond. Now, we want to know at last, Sir Victor, what is the secret behind your stories? Are they based on true events? Have you experienced them yourself? My dear Rosamond, the lack of knowledge about this gives the story extra flavour. Any answer to your question would only disappoint you in the end. So please allow me to give you no answer. Of course he made them up. Sir Victor has written dozens of stories and plays. How could he have experienced them all within a lifespan, my lady? But isn't Sir Victor an heir? I don't know what that means. <laughs> I did not know that. This is the first time I'm meeting one. I am not surprised. We are a very rare breed, Lady Rosamond. Besides, we look identical to humans. So how old are you, if you allow me the question? That is difficult to say, but when the University of Nisa was still standing here in Valandis, I was well alive and breathing. Oh shit, okay. Yeah, I was gonna say, that's ages, right? That was 500 years ago. For heaven's sake, you've experienced the legendary city of Nisa in its golden age. He even studied there. My goodness, then you're able to wield magic? My magic is a bit rusty, but yes. I was born in a time when the magical potential of all races was much further developed. How exciting! Then the princess here is not the only one who is able to wield magic. Oh, forgive my foolish mouth, your situation is different, of course. Sir Victor? Please excuse me, Sir Victor, you're needed. Understood, my good Heinlein. Princess, ladies and gentlemen, please excuse me. Was that all right? Perfect, Heinlein. A little break is exactly what I needed now. As discussed by your hand signal, you were literally bombarded with questions. True, although I much prefer being the listener. If you allow me the remark, I could not do all this. I imagine these diplomatic talks must be exhausting. You get used to it. Such events only serve the purpose to present oneself and make a good impression. Don't try to argue and just repeat what they say and all is well. That's easy for you to say. She she she. Shall I show you how to behave in such circles? I am most curious, Sir Victor. Okay, let's go have a chat to people then. The princess has never left Farnsport. You can see it in her face how excited she is to see so many new people. Oh, right, he's got skills. Uh, learn. He has one skill to get. Mind up. 
Heavy Armor Bonus Counter Cure. He... So he is a... Yeah, he's a magic person. Magical Earth Attack dealing 1.8 times damage. Magical Wind Attack dealing 1.8 times damage. Uh... That's going to be so huge. TP regen with a potency of 5 for 5 turns for all characters in the party. That's going to be massive. Um, maybe magic? Seeing as he is a magic character? I feel like that would make sense. So let's do that. I don't actually know what stats would... What, what would mind increase? Maybe magical defense? Because defense we've got like attack and defense for regular physical attack and defense. And then you've got magic for magical attack, so maybe mind is magical defense. Probably. Probably. Cool. Um He's got the medallion on. Uh better HP and defense, worse TP and mind. So we'll stick with what he's got. While Nabriela in the West, Na Nabralia rather, in the West, has been caught in a civil war for the past few decades, Arnsreich, Arnsreich's pacifist pacifistic king, if I could read, in the East does not come down from his mountains. These are the reasons why Volandis has been spared an invasion from beyond its borders so far, but things could change at any moment. Only a united Volandis stands a chance. Thanks to Prince Frederick of Tarin, we have that now. Yeah, for now. <laughs> Sigurd. Everything is going according to plan. Good, very good. Nothing must go wrong. Oh, and here's the princess. Dot, dot, dot. Lord Sigurd is pretty nervous, but that's to be expected. After such a long war, peace can be a very fragile thing. I could not imagine the repercussions if something bad were to happen here at the banquet. It could mean a new war. Oh, how exciting. <laughs> well, something bad is going to happen at the banquet. I was thinking about the church. People everywhere on Eldrea find this new monotheistic faith great. It promises a modern attitude to life and advertises various gadgets that are supposed to make life better. But to be honest, this church reminds me more of a business than a religious community. I'll stick with the old gods. That's Sir Raphael over there. As the High Inquisitor, he's never allowed to take off his helmet in public. I wonder how he's going to eat all his food. <laughs> oh, Sir Victor. I'm delighted. I can hardly wait to inaugurate at the new cathedral. It is an honor to welcome you and so many other distinguished guests. To the north is Tarin and its capital, capital Tormund. Years ago, the king fell seriously ill, and since then, the young Prince Frederick has been ruling. In the northeast lies Gravos, the capital of Wyrnshire, is ruled by Lady Parnella. But since the annexation a year ago, she is now nothing more than a puppet of Tarin. And we here in the south are in Farnsport, the capital of Escania. Princess Amalia is too young to rule, so Chancellor Sigurd takes over all her responsibilities. Have you heard? Princess Amalia of Escania is said to be able to wield magic. She's of noble blood, so it's not uncommon for strong ether to flow through her veins. No, no, Princess Amalia's case is different. Do you think she made a pact? What's a pact? Shh, not so loud. The princess doesn't like to talk about it. Interesting. Okay. I am intrigued. Can't leave. Okay, so this way. Have you talked enough? Uh, yes, I'm done. Nice to have you here, Sir Victor. I'm proud that so many have accepted my invitation today. There is only one person that I miss. Uh... Hmm... Do you mean... You must be speaking of Tarin's ruler? Yes, Prince Frederick has a cold. It is better if he stays at home. I'm very grateful for his contribution to this piece. You know, once Princess Amalia comes of age, I plan to hand her a kingdom of peace, not one of bloodshed and hunger. Speaking of the princess... I think I haven't in officially introduced you to Her Royal Highness Princess Amalia. Good day, sir. Uh, I heard you're well versed in magic. 
Are people talking about it? My mother used to read me your stories, Sir Victor. So thanks to you, I have at least one good memory of her. Ahem. Come, princess. There's someone else I would like you to meet. Ah, Sir Victor. There you are. Here is someone I would like to introduce you to. This is Sir Raphael. Of your personal guard, very pleased. The High Inquisitor himself. His reputation as a bishop. Was it High Inquisitor? I think someone said High Inquisitor, right? Yes, good. Uh, he's wearing a mask, so it's probably a bit hard to hear him. I am no less honored to meet a man of your reputation. <laughs> no, let's not do that. I am no less honored to meet a man of your reputation. Wait, that's kind of Victor's voice. I don't know, man. There's so many characters, it's hard to do unique voices for them all. I would like to talk to you after the ceremony, Sir Victor. I think your fame might be helpful in spreading the one faith here in Volandis. Oh, look over there, Sir Raphael. There's someone else I need to introduce you to. Oh, Sir Victor, it was interesting to see how you conducted yourself around the guests of this banquet. In almost every case, you knew the right thing to say. A guest has given me this for you. Now then, I think the first course is being served. After that, Bishop Zacchaeus will inaugurate the cathedral. Oh, and now we are back with Sienna. <laughs>